Hi, I'm Professor Myrtle, here with another scientific mystery for you today. The leaves are turning yellow, and I personally believe that bugs are to blame. We're going to use a series of scientific tools. First, we have the measurer. We have the wood flute. This is an obsidian blade. And finally, we have the magical magnifying glass. Oh, come here. I think I found something really important. A bug-sized, arrow-shaped stone outcrop? Science. Hmm, since the stones didn't move, we can conclude that the bug is softer than crystallized sandstone. Highly penetrable soil. Aha! That means we're dealing with a winged beast! Before we begin, I must tell you some extraordinarily important safety measures that you must always follow when conducting scientific experiments. Bare feet are an absolute must. Why would you deprive yourself of your foot skin's super sensory perception? Conduct every experiment with bare feet. So we're going to... Follow in the direction of the arrow to see if we can find out what's been eating my plants. We'll need to bring our handbook of bugs with us as well, because we'll need to identify whatever we encounter on the long road ahead. <gasps> Wings, check. Soft body, check. This is our first lead. Do the nose hairs are equidistant from the eyeballs. Silence. He is not affected by resonant frequencies. The eye color is similar to that of the obsidian blade, indicating a high level of intelligence. Mayhaps smart enough to have moved the stones? See how it didn't disappear? We're dealing with a true bug here, you guys. All right. Similar color. See how it has the spots? See how it has the spots? All right, so this is a damaged pecan. <laughs> Even you know that winged nuts don't eat plants. This guy's off the hook. Let's continue following where the arrow led us. This way. There's been an interesting development in the case. My cat said she saw something dark with wings fly by this morning with a bit of a basil leaf in its mouth. He went that way? And he's fuzzy? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? She's sure. Let's go. It's that way. Come on, I think I found it. Come on. In these situations, I truly believe it's always important to follow your nose. Look what I found. Isn't this a special bug? This bug sucks the life out of plants and then uses it to procreate, to feed other bugs. It is despicable, it is a pest, and I know that's exactly what was attacking my basil. I'm trying to find you a picture of it in here. Where is it? There. Can you see the resemblance? This is exactly what my cat saw this morning. Using just a few simple tools and an extraordinarily knowledgeable and resourceful book, we were able to determine what was eating my basil plants and causing the leaves to turn yellow. Professor Myrtle, until next time. Science.